This is an add-in mod for epic fight, adding more weapons, skills, armors, and items to enhance your combat experience. All weapons feature distinctive animations and behaviors, each concealing a multitude of secrets and hidden techniques for you to discover and master.
Also, the mod adds 18 new skill books. Dodge Master allows you to instantly dodge a small distance. Bull Charge, charge forward pushing away any entities that come across your path, and you are immune to stun effect during the charge and take 40% less damage. Ender Step, a fast teleportation away from danger. While executing this skill, the player becomes immune to physical damage. Shadow Step allows you to meld into the shadows, where moving within them warps space and time, making you faster than light itself. Perfect Bulwark, Holding Guard Stance will block attacks from all distances at low progressive stamina cost. Releasing Guard after being hit 5 times will send a shockwave that pushes enemies away. Counterattack, Perfect Guard will trigger a counterattack based on weapons attacks. Meditation, Sneak for 2 seconds without moving to enter in state of meditation. The longer you meditate, the longer the buff. Arrow Tenacity, Prevent the Stun Arrow's damage. Dancing Blade, gain 80% damage on every fourth successful attack. Ender Obscurus, teleport you behind the last hit target within 30 blocks. While executing this skill, player become immune from physical attacks. Vengeful Parry, put you in a guarding stance for 2 seconds. After that, you will be able to send back all the damage in your next attack. Vimperize, heal you for 10% of the damage you deal. Critical Knowledge, give you 20% chance to deal 100% more damage. The critical change is increased by 5% for each level of fire protection enchantment you have, and the critical damage is increased by 15% per blast protection enchantment you have. This mod is a rework of soul-like armors and introduces dozens of medieval-style armors. Most of these armors draw inspiration from Dark Souls, while a few are influenced by League of Legends. You can discover iconic armors from Dark Souls, such as those worn by characters like Artorias the Abysswalker and Solera Vistora from Dark Souls 1, as well as Nameless King and Abyss Watchers from Dark Souls 3. Additionally, there are armors inspired by League of Legends champions like Talon the Blade's Shadow and Monkey King. Each armor set features exquisite 3D textures. If you're playing a medieval-themed RPG mod pack, this mod is an excellent choice. Furthermore, the mod is fully compatible with better combat and epic fight. The epic fight mod has just undergone a significant update, and now you can use it in higher game versions. This mod adds random generating jungle villages to honor the Minecraft jungle villagers. The jungle villages stand apart from their counterparts in a remarkable way. In the heart of the jungle, villagers eschew traditional houses and instead make their homes high amidst the towering trees. They weave bridges between the trees, creating intricate networks of elevated walkways. When necessary, they carve passages through the hillsides. While they may not have traditional farmers, their resourcefulness shines through in their ability to adapt and prosper in the heart of the jungle. Despite the challenges of their environment, they've developed their own sustainable ways of living, relying on the rich resources of the jungle. As you explore these villages, you'll witness the villagers' remarkable craftsmanship in their bridge building and hillside tunnels. This is a structure mod that brings an exciting twist to Minecraft by introducing hostile and unfriendly mobs, providing a thrilling contrast to the peaceful villages. The mod allows you to explore the spine-chilling which village hidden deep within swamps and mangrove biomes. Wander through mossy houses and bubbling cauldrons, navigate treacherous bogs to reveal the village's dark secrets. And the mod is designed to be fully compatible with all world generation mods, and it currently offers enhanced compatibility with the Waystones mod. Spooky Bats is a mod that adds a ton of unique bat variations to the game, most bats can naturally be found throughout the overworld as well as some in the nether. In addition to spookily flying around, each bat drops a specific type of candy when it's killed. Each of these candies can be consumed, but beware because not all of them are beneficial. This mod aims to improve the combat experience by adding a collection of unique and powerful weapons, items, trinkets and armor for the player to acquire. 
The mod currently features 9 unique weapons which are fully animated and feature unique passive effects and or special abilities when right-clicked. The weapons also come packaged with custom sounds when abilities are used and most have unique attack sounds when paired with the better combat mod, each weapon is carefully designed to feel unique and augment every playstyle. Currently, there are some unique armor sets which provide unique passive and or active abilities, and each armor is fitted with custom sounds which trigger on ability usage which help with immersion and give a RPG feeling. The mod currently features trinkets such as rings and charms which grant special stat bonuses or effects when worn. It also contains special tools such as the bright steel multi-tool and items like the keystone which can teleport the player home when in the overworld. This mod is a continuation of the mod Ostiger cards, updated for Forge 1.20. Supply cart allows you to bring your storage with you on your journey, up to a double chest's worth, and one seat on the back. Animal cart allows you to carry along your animals, players, and NPC companions. Plow can till fields quickly, strip logs, or make paths. This mod adds an underground jungle biome and an underground jungle temple inspired by the one in Terraria. The underground jungle biomes tend to generate below jungles and dark forests, but might generate under other biomes as well. The biome consists of patches of mud and jungle grass, a lush green grass that can spread to mud blocks. The temple is a rare structure full of traps found in the underground jungle. Every temple has a treasure chest and a temple key that you need to open the treasure chest. The treasure chest will contain one tool from the temple set, these tools can mine every block in the vanilla game and are faster than any vanilla tool. Jungle zombies can spawn in the underground jungle biome and mossy skeletons can spawn inside the temple, both these mobs can inflict the poison effect to players if they are hit. This is a vanilla-style furniture mod with new and exciting furniture items such as sofas, tables, kitchen counters, wardrobes, ovens and much more. All sofas are fully expandable and all work for sitting on. All tables are fully expandable as well. Nearly all blocks come with their own animations and sounds. This mod adds three in-game armors, one for each classic RPG class archetype, a strength-based warrior, a dexterity-oriented rogue, and an intelligence-focused mage. The titanic armor increases maximum health, grants immunity to knockback, increases damage dealt, and greatly reduces the duration of negative effects. The shadowcloth armor increases attack speed, increases movement speed after dealing damage, doubles stamina regeneration rate, and doubles bow charging speed. The arcane armor reduces cooldown of spells, increases maximum mana, reduces cast time of spells, and increases spell power. Unearthed Journey is a mod that lets the player visit the Cenozoic era 65 million years ago when mammals started to rule the earth. In order to visit the past, the player is required to defeat a new boss called Camelus, which is an ancient spider that spawns naturally in a temple that can only be located in the desert biome. To summon Camelus, the player must find the dark room of the temple and light the four candles that are placed in a square shape. When this action is done the player should be ready to fight the boss. Upon defeating, the Camelus will drop a mysterious item which can be right-clicked in the air like a totem. After a few seconds, the player will travel through space and time.
The Cenozoic Dimension as of now adds five biomes for the player to visit and interact with the ancient beasts. The mod has 25 different unique animals, 7 new trees, a few plants, newly generated structures and far more cool stuff. Lookin' Sharp is a combat mod that expands the vanilla melee weapon options, the mod currently adds 60 new melee weapons to the game, which can all be obtained through the new forging station block. Each weapon type has its own set of stats, allowing you to choose a weapon that's best suited to your combat style. Upon crafting new weapons, they will be given a random rarity level, from common to legendary. These rarities will impact the strength of your weapon stats, with common being the weakest and legendary being the strongest. Additionally, throughout the world, you'll find magic artifact items as mob drops. These items can be applied to your weapons in a smithing table, imbuing them with a special ability, and adding a much-needed element of customization to combat. This is an add-in for the Create mod that adds villagers and blocks features that relate to old Create and new Create versions. Currently the mod adds 8 new villagers, they are Copper Mechanic, Lumberjack, Chocolatier, Archaeologist, Rail Manager, Exchanger, Pyrotechnician, and Beekeeper. Useful Brush is a fabric mod that adds more functionalities to the vanilla brush. The new brush contains 8 new features in total. It allows you to convert mossy blocks to their normal form and sometimes drop slime. Convert infested blocks to their normal form. Brush snow to remove one layer. Brush chickens to drop feathers. Brush sheep to drop strings. Brush mushrooms to drop mushrooms. And pat you dog. You can also brush a campfire to make it burn better, thus let you cook food faster. This mod adds two new structures into the brand new cherry blossom biome. The cherry tower consists of a total of seven floors, and you can discover numerous treasures inside the tower. It is inhabited by villagers, while at the tower's pinnacle, you'll find a diamond sword and some TNT hidden away. Furthermore, you can also find a beautiful Tory gate here. Ember's Kiln is a mod that adds a new furnace type, a kiln, which can be crafted by surrounding a furnace on all cardinal directions with bricks. The kiln can be used to quickly smelt glass, clay, and stone items. Moon's Weaponry has added custom animation sets for halberds, wardlaves, sides, and hammers in a new update. Efficiency adds a new enchantment for fishing rods, this rare enchantment allows players to reel in up to 4 items. To balance things out, each item you reel in removes one durability from your fishing rod. This simply mod just changes the chat screen into edgeless chat screen. <laughs> 